kick them out. Well, I, I suppose if they're going to stay, we might as well explain the rules. First off, we must be respectful, yes, so please keep the idols clear and keep it down so the master doesn't hear. And also, uh, there is some additional rules. Oh, yes, of course. I need to be the brightest thing in the room at all times, so I need to make sure that all of your cellular devices are off and that there is no flash photography. Another point is that I might get a bit too hot up here, so your fire exits are located there, 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 and there. And lastly, we want to make sure that you are comfortable, yes, so there will be an intermission complete with concessions and a raffle, and additionally, there will be candy grams that you can send to your favorites here. Such as me. I want a lot of candy grams, but you can send them to others too if you want. I don't see why you would, but you can. <laughs> That's all I can think of. I believe so. so I believe it's time for you to be our guest.
How can you read this? There's no pictures. Some people like to use their imagination. Well, it's about time you got your head out of those books and paid attention to something more important. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Like you? Exactly! Well, the village people have been talking. It's not right for a woman to read. Soon she'll start getting ideas and thinking for herself. Gaston, you're positive you have me. Why, thank you! <laughs> How about we go to the tavern and I can show you some of my trophies? <laughs> Maybe later. I have to go help my father. That crazy old fool, he needs all the help he can get. <laughs> don't talk about my father that way. Yeah, don't talk about her father that way. My father's not crazy. He's a genius. He's a genius. Well, it's working. Some genius. Now, Lafou, I need you to head into the woods and hunt me the biggest, juiciest, healthiest deer you can find. Oh, no, not the woods. You know I hate the woods! LeFou, just get me a deer for my wedding feast. But it's dark and spooky and full of bugs and spiders! The deer, LeFou! Ah! <laughs> I can't for the life of me figure out why that happened. I'm about ready to give up on this little junk. Oh, you always say that. I mean it this time. I'll never get this boneheaded contraption to work. Yes, you will, and you'll win the first prize of the bear mark. Hmm. And become a world famous inventor. Do you really think so? You know I do. I always have. Well, then we'd better get cracking. It isn't going to fix itself. Now, let's see. Did you have a good time in town today? I got a new book. You do love those books. Well, they take me to places where there's adventure and mystery and romance and happy endings. Papa. If I ask you something, will you answer me honestly? Don't I always? Do you think I'm... odd? My daughter, odd? Now where would you get an idea like that? I don't know, it's just... people talk. They talk about me too. No, you're not odd, it's true. No family ever say Except one uncle who will be me let that pass. In all you say and do, you couldn't make it plainer. You are your mother's daughter, therefore you are a class. So I should just accept I'm simply not like them. They are the
Oh 
Yes. <laughs> I just don't deserve you. Who does? Me!
Oh, this is it, the girl is gone after all these years to break the spell. Oh, happy, happy day! Oh, stop, not stop! Pat! We should go tell the others, no? Uh, uh, yes, I mean, no, I mean, wait a minute, wait a minute!
dismissed, rejected, publicly humiliated. It's more than I can bear. More fear? What for? Nothing else. I'm disgraced. Oh, you? Never. Gaston, you've got to pull yourself together. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Gaston, looking so down in the dumps. Every guy here loved to be you, Gaston, even when taking your bluffs. There's no man in town as admired as you. You're everyone's favorite guy. Everyone's awed and inspired by you. And it's not very hard to see why. No one's quick as Gaston. No one's slick as Gaston. No one's next as incredibly thick as Gaston. There's no man in town half as manly, perfect of your paragon. You can ask any Tom, Dick, or Stanley, and they'll tell you whose team they prefer to be on. No.
He's got a point. <laughs> well, you could start by making yourself more presentable straight up after the gentleman. Impress her with your pretty wits. Be gentle. Show her how we compliment. But be sincere. And above all, what? You must find for your time. Well? What? Where is she? Oh, oh, yes, the girl. Um, the thing is, she's not coming. We'll see about that. Your lordship, your evidence of blame is not be hasty. We can all just take deep breaths. Yes, the lady has options. Hi. Maybe she just likes to eat alone. Well, have a good time. Maybe she just wants to be by her soul. Yes, maybe she wants to be alone sometimes, too. We can just act like adults here. I thought I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. I'm the master of the castle, and I'm telling you to come down to dinner. And I'm telling you I'm not hungry. You're hungry when I say you're hungry. Don't be ridiculous. What did you just say? You can't go around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I Besides, it's rude. <laughs> oh, rude is it? Then how about this? If you don't come down to dinner, I'm going to drag you by the hair. No, 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 Give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Uh-uh-uh. Huh? Huh? Please. <laughs> no, thank you. Fine, then stop. Master, master, please. She doesn't eat with me, then she doesn't eat at all. Master, no, master, be reasonable. We will never be human again. So you keep up. What do you want me to do? Just give up? I'm just give up until I get my voice off to run into those rules again. What right, Mrs. Potts? Yes. Look here. Stand guard the door and if there is the slightest change, inform me at once. We won't get me done.
Actually, madam, I am a little hungry. Uh, oh, very good, Mrs. Potts. Oh, that's all right. I'll go myself. Oh, but what about the master? He's not going to like that. I know. <laughs> oh, dear!
like a gentleman. Ooh, this will be good. Oh, Belle. Belle. Now, if I can draw your attention to our unusual inverted R space, we are a staple of the place neoclassic Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> No. 